Hello, my name is Emily Keckle, and this is my STEM bus field experience reflection. So just for some general information, I went to Rogers Elementary School and I attended um, on January 31st, 2022. And specifically, I worked with kindergarten and first graders to program a QR coding robot specifically called Kibo Robots. So how did I help teachers and students facilitate learning? So I specifically worked with three teachers, and I believe it was the art teacher, the STEM bus driver, and STEM coordinator, and approximately three other student helpers for my U. And um, I was in charge of roughly one, uh, one to four students at one table, and um, we helped students program the robots by giving them directions, helping them scan the QR codes, and just overall facilitating the activity. So how did I use technology? So this is the Kibo robot off to the side. And as you can see here, there is a QR coding um, system on here where the robot will scan a block with a specific motion. And then uh, students can take multiple blocks and make a sequence of patterns and events um, and see the robot move. Okay, so how did technology contribute to teaching? So students were able to learn the basics of coding. They learned how to take turns and work as a team. And they learned how to be resilient and keep trying when mistakes were made. And yes, mistakes were made during this process. Okay, how would I change um, this material if I were to teach it again? So I would make the group sizes a little bit smaller. We had about three to four people in a group and I'd almost make it two to three just because I felt a little bit rushed and I felt like the students didn't have enough time to be creative and kind of independently show off some of their skills. And also, I would have more teacher helpers in the room. We had one table at a few times like that was empty and didn't have a student helper. And there was a few times where teachers had to like double up. So that was a little challenging. Okay, so what did I do well? So some things that I felt that I did well was giving directions to the students, helping them scan the QR codes, making sure everyone took turns, um, making sure um, everyone felt included, um, creating a coded robot that the students enjoyed watching. I thought all, all of those things I did really well. So things I struggled with. So at first I struggled with figuring out how to scan the QR codes with the robot. It was really challenging because we had a problem where if you scan the codes too close to, together or if you link them, the chain gets messed up and the like robot glitches. So you had to make sure to be very like consistent with the blocks and making sure the movements were very thought out. So also understanding what the kids were saying and thinking at times, it was a little confusing and again, it's a lot of chaos and you're trying to do multiple things at once. And knowing how much time was left in the class, class to program, um, obviously because I'm not the normal teacher, I was not aware of what time the class period ended, so it was a little hard to like kind of time manage. Okay, so how will I improve um, this next time? So the problems I just recently stated, so the solution I have to those is for number one, taking time before the class period to test the activity. This is extremely important because you kind of get a taste of what's gonna be flaws, what's gonna be the problem, what's things I should um, make sure the students are aware of, materials, etc. And also um, for problem two, listening closer and allowing more discussion time will help solve this um, and help uh, clear up any confusion. And for number three, keeping an eye on the clock at all times is just a great tool no matter what. And just being able to time manage is a great tool and solution. Okay, so what did I learn? How will this contribute to my professional um, identity? Um, I learned specifically how drastic the learning curve is between kindergarten and first grade. When the kindergarten gardeners that we were working with came in, they were squirmy wormies. They were moving around. They were so excited. They were bouncing off the walls to try the activity. And when the first graders came in, they were a little bit more calm and collected. And I just was surprised at how much that lear learning curve happens within that um, short amount of time. Also, um, I learned how to remain calm and collected even when I was confused. And there's multiple times where I'd ask a question because I was confused or something wasn't working or um, someone needed something. So um, remaining calm definitely was a great skill to learn. And also um, how to give instructions but not be overly strict because it's super hard because it's like you want to be super caring and sensitive, but you also want to like get stuff done in an orderly fashion. And um, how will this contribute to my own professional identity? I said it will help me work with all different types of students and be able to measure the different academic levels of my students. So thank you so much for watching my STEM reflection. Thank you so much, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye-bye.